So, finished up chapter 7. So, should dive straight into 8. Probably get a summary. Hey, hey, hey. What is it? Is it Misaki? Yes. Oh, hey, Beep. Welcome. Are you here for Fatal Frame? <laughs> yeah. Searching for Madoka, Misaki finds herself in her own room at Dogetsu Hall and discovers a photo of herself as a child alongside a woman with no face. Does this woman have any connection with the girl in black? Misaki feels that if she could meet this woman, her own past would become clear. My special friend. Young. Young. Naku. Nana. New. So pretty. Girl in black leaving the room, B. What's she doing? <laughs> okay, let's wait. Item? Oh, item? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hmm. There must be something here. Like a diary, maybe. I remember something. Where is it? Oh, <gasps> sneaky! <laughs> Baby's lying on my arms. Nice. You cozy beep. <laughs> He's making it work. Okay. Um. So, lady wants us to follow her. Gotcha. Yeah, someone left a comment saying that some of the dolls actually got moved in this re-release. So that'll be interesting. If that's the case. I mean, I wasn't planning on getting them all this time. What is it? Oh. Oh, you look at that! Little drawing of a skeleton. <laughs> Never seen that before. Oh, keys. Where is it? There's something here. Fire extinguisher? Aha! It is this corner. Well, what do you know, Beep? <laughs> I don't know how he's staying put. <laughs> yeah. You comfy? Yeah? He's like on my hand with the controller down here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making it work. He's like, I'm gonna stay put, mom. Whether you like it or not. Did I mention that I love you? It's making me sit all like hunched over because he's like squishing my arm. <laughs> but I'll bear it. He'll get bored in a bit anyway. So... Chase the girl in black's shadow. I haven't seen her at all. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I was just wondering where you were. Oh, it didn't go blue. Hmm. Oh, there it was. Okay. So... You cast Zinc Key. 
The button for the fourth floor is working now. Convenient. Oh, yeah, the key has to be in the slot. Okay. Ugh, one of my favorite ghosts coming up. Not this one. Other one. Uh. Ooh, this is creepy. Oh. Go, 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 go. Blech. Oh god, oh god. Okay. Let me out of the elevator! Jesus Christ! You're scary! That face, God! Okay, I'm out of the elevator. When does she attack? I'm trying to like wait for it, but. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, that's still too early. Maybe I need to let her go up. And then back down. Ugh, let's try it. See what happens. Oh god. Okay, let's try it. So she flips up. Down! Oh! Ooh! Oh! Baby, that was so scary. You hold on for dear life to the desk. <laughs> he looks so funny. <laughs> and he's gone. Oh. Now at least I can sit normally. Oh, the strain on my neck already from being hunched like that. <sighs> I'm a little pretzel. Okay. Oh, item. I think there's a couple here that we're gonna get. Yeah. Oh, it is good to be back, baby. Oh, no, I want the phone. Hmm, was the phone fake? Was it a fake out? Document from the infirmary. I saw Misaki with the doll again yesterday. Most likely the patient on the fourth floor gave her own doll to Misaki. Both of them have been diagnosed as having high spiritual potential. Their spiritual senses are heightened and they're at increased risk of being inhabited. It is dangerous for two such people to be together. When their mental state is good, being together may help them both stay stable. But if one of them becomes unstable, both of them both are at risk of worsening their moonlight syndrome. I'm particularly worried about the effect that she in her current state might have on Misaki. Please keep careful watch over Misaki and ensure that the two of them do not meet. Frozen moon isolation room on the fourth floor. This is the only room on the fourth floor. The patient is in an extremely dangerous condition. Report to the director immediately if she shows any signs of deterioration or becomes agitated. Calling her by her name or looking at her face are forbidden, as both can cause her condition to worsen. Bearing in mind the recent death of one of the nurses, staff are advised for their own safety to avoid prolonged contact with the patient. If any of the nurses feel their mood or physical condition get worse, they should discontinue duties immediately. The corridor to the isolation room is sealed with a gate which can be opened by unlocking it from the nurse's station. Please note that it is not possible to enter the isolation room with just the master key. Where's that other boot? Oh. There we go. Here. 
Regarding the woman in the isolation room, it's embarrassing to say this, but I simply can't remember her face. I have an impression that she's quite pretty, but I don't know what her face looks like. I can't remember it. This is unheard of for me. A nurse ca can usually remember her patients' names and faces very easily. She's the only one who I can't remember. When I try my hardest to remember her face and focus on it, my pulse quickens and I feel as though I'm losing sight of myself. It feels like my mind is a radio and someone is playing with the tuning dial. What should I do? Am I really fit to be in charge of the fourth floor? I don't think I'm cut out for this position. Please consider transferring me to another task. I beg you. <laughs> Damn, that was even black and white. That was a critical memory. Thank you. Oh, still blue. There also has to be a doll here somewhere. Right? Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's that same poster that we saw in the box. Maybe in here. I never realized there's a sink behind this counter. The box? No. Hmm. There is another blue thing around here, though. Oh. Nice. Pretty important. Let me just see if there's nothing here. What is that sound? Oh. Well. Creepy nurse downstairs. Yes! This is my favorite ghost. One of my favorite. Can't say it's the favorite. We'll see my favorite ghost later in the game. No! <laughs> It's so creepy. Is she just gone now? Actually, for some reason, thought that we were gonna fight her. <laughs> ah, Jesus! Don't scare me like that. Past me. Rude. There is one hundred percent a doll somewhere in this hallway bit. I think. No, I'm not so sure. Why don't you hmm her? Haven't I told you over and over that she keeps trying to drag me into her room? Come and see her if you don't understand what I'm talking about. She is something else now, isn't she? Her face keeps changing and she keeps trying to drag me in. She calls me. Hehehe. <laughs> She gonna go away? Okay. No, she's not. Ooh. Oh, so it is her. I always wondered if it was a different nurse. Oh god. <gasps> Dude, you're so creepy. Damn it, they did it so.
so creepy. Uh, there has to be a doll here somewhere. I thought it was that box. Is it like in a window? I really thought there was one here. There is! Oh my god! Oh, sneaky bastards. Ho 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 I got you. Nice. there but not the one we want oh hello um what's that oh does that one count yeah it does oh my god don't remember that one Well, that's one. Doctor's notebook. Haibara's assistant again. Regarding the patient in the isolation room, I observed her again today, but I feel her symptoms have reached the point of hopelessness. For someone like her with such high spiritual potential, Moon Knight Syndrome almost always presents with extremely severe symptoms. She may be the, the most extreme case yet. Her mind is on the brink of collapse. She has managed to cling feebly to some semblance of sanity by fusing her dolls and herself in her mind. The dolls, each reflecting a different part of herself, may be necessary for her to anchor her fluid and ever-fluctuating state of mind. It may be possible to use this doll transference approach to help the other patients deal with their chaotic memories. However, while giving her doll dolls may have some temporary effect, all it does is postpone the inevitable collapse. Director Hayabara is desperately searching for some way to help her, but he's already tried so many things. At this point, doing anything more might only cause her pain. They phrase it a little weird in the translation. The way I understand it is that... Um, like, I guess she put like a part of herself in her dolls. So pretty. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there she is! Honestly, I can't wait to really see her up close in a particular cutscene. <gasps> and actually see how pretty she is! We're gonna have to be patient. Are those bats? Has there always been a bat motif on these walls? I never realized. Hi, but as assistant. Patient in the isolation room on the fourth floor has stabilized somewhat, but there's no telling what might set it off again. That nurse who called her called the patient in the isolation room the one with no face. She committed suicide a few days ago. 
For reasons that yet, as yet unknown, she ran into the isolation room and killed herself right in front of the patient. She had shown signs of being deathly afraid of the patient for a while. If she was so afraid, why did she charge in there? She had been warned about hanging around near the gate. When the nurse's body was discovered, the room was in an awful state, but the patient was just sitting on the bed, smiling. I can't quite remember her face myself. Something like this had already happened before, and now all the other nurses are scared. The gate isn't there to stop the patient from getting out, as much as to prevent her from having contact with anyone else. Sakuya's diary. Yeah, I put myself in the doll. That's what I remembered. So that even if I forget myself, the me and the doll will tell me who I am. That was how I held on to myself, but... Today I asked it, what is my name? I asked and I asked, but there was no answer. Without the me inside the doll, the little one ones inside me get upset. They eat my insides, They then they sleep. The starving little ones, I can hear them waking up. My soul, broken, I am descending. Uh. Smart choice of words, considering, considering the right of the scent. I don't want you to know the pain of those who have the souls enter into them, whose sound are consumed. You're just like me. Don't, let, then don't end up like me, Misaki. The capital letters don't say anything, right? No, I don't think so. A world without noise. I offer my song to you. Yeah, yeah that's a whole bit that we'll get into later. Um, but that's why uh, music, they've been testing with music. Music plays a big part. And that's why she's saying, I offer my song to you. Do I hear whispers? Do you think that's the parts of her that she put in the dolls? Whispering back. Creepy. Missing. Ugh, it's creepy. I f it's much louder than I remember. <gasps> oh, oh, Jesus. The sound of them going huh, scares me more than the actual hands showing up. Is that a doll? Oh! There you are. Found you. something on the floor here that we need to get if I remember correctly oh is there already didn't see it oh I got it oh now I lost it there oh a diary oh Misaki's they tell me I can't see her anymore but it feels so nice to be together with her feeling myself break apart is nice too but this is different when our two sounds play together, it feels good and I don't feel sick. But they said soon I won't be able to see her anymore. I don't think I can stand it if I can't see her anymore. I won't know who I am. But Mia says I'm still me. I feel safe because Mia is here. Mia is my special friend who stays with me. Mi means sea, like in Misaki. Ya means night, like in Sakya. Oh yeah, the blooming night. The two of us will always be together.
Oh, four is all the way down there. Okay, that's the top row. Okay, 13 needs to be all the way on the left. Followed by 14. Um, how am I gonna do that? Okay, so it should be 9 and 13, right? Yeah. 10. When the last time I heard it, the gentle sound of my own song. The human soul is nothing but sound, but there are so many sounds reverberating, I can't hear. The end of days is near, I can feel it. I'm glad my song came back, even if just for an instant. Father, yo, Ayako, goodbye. So Sakya has some kind of connection with... <laughs> Ayako as well. You're staying there for a very long time. She's not going away. <laughs> We get teleported. Oh, God, so creepy. No. Suicide note. I'm sorry, I have to go on ahead of you. It's because of me, my body. This body that is so easily inhabited. I've caused everyone so much pain. When things take over me and I hurt everyone, I wake up and I don't even remember what I've done. I can't bear that pain anymore. I was able to stand it until now because you were there for me, but now I have Moonlight Syndrome and the only things that could save me my memories, share it with you, are shaken. I no longer have any way to bear the pain accumulated in my memory. I would be so happy if this sickness would wipe only the painful memories from my mind. I feel sorry for Sakuya. She is just like me. My heart aches when I think that she might suffer as I have. Shigeto, you have to take care of her. The moon is getting brighter. Shigeto, Sakuya, yo. I am so sorry. I offer myself up to be guided by the moonlight. So that was Sakuya's mother, who we just saw kill herself in the memory. And so she was saying that she gets possessed easily. So she was literally like a conduit for souls that wanted to be heard. I saw this one in the cutscene. There we go. But yeah, that's also, it kind of coincides with what we've been reading about. 
probably something on one of these. Oh, there. What we've been reading is Sakya's diary just now, where she's like, I hear so many songs. And it's, there's so many that I can't hear my own song. So she's hearing so many dead people, probably. Or even living people. But she's hearing their sound, the sound their soul makes. Um, their melodies. And it's just so much that she loses herself in the crowd, literally. Oh! I think that is the... Um, the thing that we can hear dolls. Use sound to alert you to special spirit presence. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. We'll probably hear it next time we're close. I know, there's one in the next room, so... Let's test it. That. That's it. That sound means there's a doll nearby. Cool. Awesome, now we can hear them. That'll help us a lot. Um, I'm tempted. I might go through the whole building. <laughs> Just see if I can find any more. I think I missed one by the well where uh, Kirishima started. There's an item here somewhere. Okay. I think there's a doll here somewhere. Honestly, I remember more of them than I thought I would. And I I never really remember the exact location for some of them. I remember the, the weird ones, like the one on the branch and stuff. Um, and the obvious ones, but... Some of the other ones I'm like, it's in this room, I think, but I don't remember. Cool. Yeah, do you need any upgrades? Oh, yeah, you do. Maximum number of spirit points. Area effect. Mm, only 20 left. We'll leave it at that. Maybe we'll find more. Say please. Thank you. <laughs> Finding so many. <laughs> okay. Nothing there? There's something here. Oh, no one under the bed? Something happened yesterday. As I lay gasping from the agony of the swarm of black insects crawling around inside my body. Okay. Just another Friday. I noticed the moon. I reached out to touch that gentle light piercing the darkness. And then I realized. I was standing on the roof, about to climb over the railing. One more step and I would have plummeted to my death. But somehow I wasn't scared when I realized this. If you ask me, anything goes on nights when the moon is full. Moon is full. Killing a loved one, choosing to end one's own life. All is forgiven under the light of the moon, and all is forgotten in the light of the morning. That's what I think. That's why I don't want to go out on nights when the moon is full. Next time I do, I won't wake up as I follow the moonlight. I'll want to jump into the moon reflected on the surface of the ocean, or reach out from the rooftops to touch it. I already know of three patients who have flung themselves off the roof when the moon was full. I wonder if I will end up following them. So yeah, you can imagine how this... Did I just see something? Or is that a shadow bug? 
Has to be a bug, right? Looks like something creepy on the bed. Um, so, 10 years before everything really went wrong. Oh, I didn't even see you there. Sakuya performed the Kagura, the regular one, the regular dance. And then she got the syndrome. Moonlight syndrome? Is that what the, they called it? Um, because of it. What happened? Um, and then I'm assuming that she since then, oh hey, has been infecting other people and kind of like spreading like that across the island. Records tell of a visit to Dogetsa Isle at the turn of the century by one Professor Kunihiko Aso. He invented various devices for communicating with the dead, but their efficacy was never proven, and in modern times his theories are treated as mere pseudoscience. Reading his writings, I found that many of this, his thoughts were about the masks on the island. Some of his ideas are fragmented and erratic, but many are also bold and exciting. According to the professor, the masks of Rogetsu Isle are designed to affect the mind of the wearer. Humans are easily influenced in this way, like when one sees oneself, someone laughing and feels like laughing oneself. Professor Aso's term for this is emotional transference. He postulates that masks refine this process, controlling the emotions of those who see them. Just as the moon represents the inner, masks represent singular states of mind. The professor describes his experience of seeing a girl who, despite never having so much as lifted a flute before, played a tune on one immediately after putting on a mask. His theory is that masks either stimulate specific parts of the unconscious, unconscious mind, or that they behave as a type of medium for memories. The idea of masks as a medium for conveying memories is certainly intriguing. The professor further proposes that masks allow experiences to be shared in a way similar to modern wireless communication. He loses me when he starts talking about how the ultimate shared experience is death, but the rest of his theory is most illuminating. Professor Aso used the arts and materials of mask making on Dogat's Isle to create his camera obscura and the film it uses. The camera is in the Aso Museum. I would very much like to have a look at it and see if it truly holds such powers as are ascribed to it in this document. Cool. But yeah, it also kind of coincides with Sakya and her dolls. It's like... If you put the memories in the mask and someone can access those and then suddenly play the flute. Um, maybe it's similar. Yeah, that was still bugged. Oh, hi. Oh, too early. Nope. Right on time. She was not ready. You are not ready for me. I'm an asshole bitch. That, do you think there's another doll somewhere here? What is on this? Medicine containers. Oh. Smell of ointment. Any other... Oh, we did get a doll, I guess. Yeah, I never was able to capture this ghost. I don't know if we're supposed to. I guess we'll find out with the ghost list later. Mm -hmm. Not the director. Scary man. Dude, move on. I need this doll. <laughs> this one I remembered. Awesome. But yeah, the sound will be really nice because then we can check certain dolls where we're not sure if we took the picture or not already. 
there's no sound playing, then we'll know. Oh, uh, oh, oh, I had his back. Go, 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 sprint. Yeah, still got him. Nice. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, playing it again on hard will be nice too, because it will be kind of like a new game plus. Oh, I counted nice. Um, so we should have that listening in power then from the beginning. I'm gonna see if I can open this door. Director's still going. Sorry, dude. I have places to be. Bye. Yeah, it opens. Huh. Well, what do you know? Someone said there was a doll. Oh, yeah. Right on here. There's also a blue filament here. I wonder what for. Something on the roof or... Oh! There. Is that the girl? Climbing over the edge? Oh. Uh, let me just run in a circle here. See if there's any more doll sounds. Oh. There's something here. Isn't it strange that we can go outside, technically? Like, what's stopping her from climbing this gate and just leaving it all behind? Well, I guess it is different in this one. Um, she knows that she'll die soon if she doesn't do anything. Okay. Well, I got the doll. All thanks to someone leaving a comment on YouTube, so thank you. Someone was like, did you see that one? <laughs> I was like, no. Totally missed it. So where did he go? This way? <laughs> Just like before. That's creepy. I think we got them here, but I want to make sure. Yeah, we got that one. Just like walking by everything, just in case. Ooh, this will be a good time to check down below here, this rubble. Because I wasn't sure, I was like, I'm sure there should be something here, but we couldn't find it as Kirishima. And but now we have the sound, so if no sound plays, we're good. I guess there really isn't anything here. Oh, wait. What? Where? Oh! Sneaky! Yes! I knew there was one somewhere here. Awesome. Nice. Okay, now let's go see the director. A blue filament? Oh yeah, this one. This one in the window here or something. I think, yeah. Creepy eye. I wish the game had more of those though. They don't seem to have that many. <gasps> oh, you shouldn't have picked that up. Dang it. Why do I always do that? 
my file. Patient Moonlight Syndrome has shown some signs of improvement, but treatment has been more difficult than anticipated due to the added factor of her high spiritual potential. Hers is a severe case. Based on the similar cases such as the isolation room patient, there is no, t no way to halt the deterioration. Clarification of her treatment plan is urgently required. There's some blue here. Hmm. These pictures. Do we press this still? No, oh, it's open. Wait, what happened? Oh. Oh, do we open it? Oh, right, this is not the gate. I thought for some reason that was the gate down below. So what is this blue? Where is it? Oh, on the desk. Nice. Is that it? Yeah. And then we got that doll. Cool. Um, crystals. I was like, I got something just now. Um... Uh, maybe we should wait for 10 more. We're not really struggling, anyway. God, such sinister sounds coming down here. Oh, she's in the device. Oh! Oh, Jesus! Lady! Personal space! Oof. Okay. That was pretty good. That was... Okay. I'll use the three 14s I have. I was ready this time. Okay. Now she's almost done. I'll go back to seven. Oh god. There. You're not blooming? We haven't had many bloom, had we? I feel like there could be a doll here somewhere that we missed. Oh. No. Oh. Nice. It's such a subtle sound, really. And it kind of has a delayed effect. Like, you've run by and then the sound's like... Eh. <laughs> That's gone. One week has passed since the failure of the Rite of the Sins. So this is after the second series, the secret series one, failed. By avoiding external stimuli and bathing them in the moonlight of the well, the condition of the organs has been stabilized. That's where Kirishima found them all together. However, Misaki is still hanging on by a thread. Her condition might suddenly deteriorate for any number of reasons. She could die from shock brought on by mental trauma or, in the worst case scenario, even blossom. There's no predicting what might do it. Sounds, smell, words, the phases of the moon, there's so much we don't understand. But the probability remains high that remembering events leading up to and including the right of descent will be what pushes her over the edge. While observing her, she has repeatedly raised her hand to my face and stroked it. It appears she has not entirely lost her memory. Hmm. So creepy. Um, there was one on the floor here. Crystals? <gasps> 
The Zero Lens, yes! The best one. Cool. Take a more powerful shot when used. Actually, it says medium, but... That's good, though. She has that now. Now I'll actually use it. There you go. Zero. Cool, cool, cool. This leads to the... The well, right? <sighs> Please stop! Yamete But a very... That was a very good voice. Creepy. What is the well? Yeah. Oh, there's Yo chan. He's taking me away from here. Huh. Dude, you are so gonna get zeroed right now. Uh! Oh, she missed. Oh god, there's a lot of you. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh god, what happened? Oh, the camera freaked out. Uh, let's run into the open bit. I need more space. Okay. Then I messed it up a little bit. Good thing I checked my zero film or lens because I was like, I'm not sure if I still have any. Did that not get her? That was such a weird one. There you go. Nothing between my teeth. Okay. Let's check for dolls again. Something in here? Ooh, nice, thank you. Um thought I saw something here. Oh, it's already there. Legend of the Moon Glow Well. Tattered old book. Those who undergo the training of the primeval passage, being such a deep cavern as befits its name. By the moon glow well, whilst those spirit return to their body. Such training doth cause that they lose both themselves and the shape of their souls. Thus some remain void, failing to have their souls return. If they should return to this world while dustly void, they may blossom. Only light of moon canst guide back their spirits, thus bringest thou such bodies to the well, being that place where the light of moon is kept and therein canst thou find the spirits. Those who, becoming void, lose themselves, must bathe in the moonlight's moon glow well. Moon's light in the well. Thus done, though lost, they may be recovered. So that's why the girls were put down here, because of this old passage that said that if they lose their soul, there is a chance that it will find their way back to them later. 
uh, through the moon, through the moon's light. Obviously, I'm looking up my translation. <laughs> I'm curious, because this is one of those old ones again where I struggled, but I kind of got the message, I think. God, it's so weird seeing the ghosts in the old game now. I'm so used to the new one now already. Okay, here we go. First page. Training deep underground in the cave. A person can train on the birthing path. Uh, they call it the primeval path, which I called it the birthing path. When completed, one can retrieve one's soul at the moon well. I think mine is clear. By the moon glow well, spirit return to their body. The purpose of the training is to forget the self and deepen their understanding of the soul. Mine is clearer, <laughs> but I'm sure it's debatable. There are those whose souls do not return and they become empty shells. Yes. If a person returns to mankind as an empty shell, there is a rare chance of blooming. Mm -hmm. Moonlight guides souls. As the moon well collects moonlight, it guides souls. Yeah, I feel like mine is just way plainer. We're kind of saying the same thing, but mine is just plain. Empty shells, those who have lost themselves, should be bathed in the moon well's light. Only then can the soul return to its body. Hm. Yeah, we're kind of saying the same thing, thankfully. I'm happy with that, at least. Um, so yeah, it's like something we read way in the beginning, that the moon is like the connection between our world and the afterlife. I love the front of her shirt so much. The detail is so lovely. Also make the boobies pop. I think, actually, now, in hindsight, this document is also... Um... It's not allowed to. Hmm. What's back? The way we came. Doorway. Um, that actually now in hindsight, that text is also kind of revealing that there's these people that had to undergo training to like strengthen your connection and go there and back again. Or what did it say? The, the birthing past, the what I called it. Um, let me see. It speaks of training. Those who undergo training of the primeval passage. Such a deep cavern as befits the name. To keep it spoiler free, I can't really explain too much yet, but um, it is very interesting that they're mentioning training here for what I'm assuming is going to be for the rite of descent, right? But then a long time ago, something went wrong. They don't do the rite of descent anymore, but they have been doing the Kagura dance, which is loosely based on it. And then Sakuya gets sick doing the Kagura dance, right? And probably, I'm guessing, she gets sick because she is such a strong spiritual medium, like her mother. She actually tapped into, like, the moon and the connection to the afterlife. And um, even though it wasn't, like, the right of the scent or anything, it still unlocked something for them and brought about the syndrome. Probably, also, she hadn't had any training, because they didn't do any of that anymore. That's probably why it happened, because she wasn't trained in, like, how to maintain your soul and not lose your connection. 
Interesting. Oh. I think I remember a doll sitting like on one of these. But maybe we're too far in. Maybe we can't do it right now. I have 90 film, right? Yeah. Although it might be... I might just have to run. Although it is colored, so... Okay, it's closed. Oh god, she's closed. Ah! Oh! Oh! I came very close to death. Oh my gosh, she's flying after me. Okay, I have to fight her. Woo! Two shots. <laughs> Look at that beautiful red kimono. Oh ho ho! What does this mean? Mm-hmm. <gasps> A doll that looks exactly like her. It's interesting that she says she is you and actually combines their names because I I used to think <laughs> hmm. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, she is gorgeous. honestly think uh, this is Sakia helping her, protecting her. It doesn't seem malicious to me. Okay, so we know that Sakia put pieces of herself in the dolls to kind of like retrieve certain pieces of information to maintain her sense of self whenever she needed it. So she had one doll that she gave to Misaki. Um, and then she actually changes, so the doll was named after herself because it was a piece of her in it, right? But then she changes the name to Mia, which is a mix of both their names. So it makes me think that actually she had Misaki also put a part of herself in it. So it's a combination, so the person we've been seeing in black, dressed in black, is actually a combination of pieces of both of their souls and was guiding her back to where she needed to be. And then, having arrived at this final place just now, I think Sakuya is kind of like protecting her because it was like a very careful hug. And she finally remembered and then passed out. Um, so next up is chapter... 9? When Duka hears the music box in her room, childhood memories come flooding back. Her family home, her mother, Sayaka, and her father. Mask artisan Soya, whose face she is still unable to remember. Coming back to reality, she finds the organ mask made by her fa father. The same mask had been placed on Duka's face by her abductor ten years previously. Reading her mother's diary, Duka confirms that Sayaka suspected her husband of planning to use the missing girls in some kind of ritual, and of being involved in the whole kidnapping incident. Duka now knows why her mother left her father, but when she stands in the cave beneath Haibara Infirmary, she's overwhelmed by the feeling that she's been there before. Yeah, it's interesting that they call it a kidnapping, but... Their motivations were kind of like to hope that the girls went, got better through looking at the well's light, right? <gasps> Kirishima! like a weird barrier that prevents them from really interacting. The scent. Ooh, are we going to the... Well, no, it's boring. <laughs> I think we're going to the chaka 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 room. I was taken here from somewhere. I remember walking along a dark path. I will fuck you up. Wait, do I have um... Uh... Do I have the zero lens now too? No, but I do have something else. What is this one? 
Take more powerful shots for a fixed amount of time. Use all available spirit points to take an extra powerful shot. Hell yeah, let's go. Are you ready? You're not ready for this. He's dead. <laughs> Dude was not ready. <laughs> That lens is powerful. Okay, any items? Nope. So we are going this way. Kirishima went here a little bit, but he couldn't progress because he was too big for the hole. But now we're a dainty little girl, so... I remember being taken through here to the place just ahead. Saving, thank you. Small hole might be possible to crawl through. Oh, you are gonna ruin those stockings. Good job. You did it. We are going to chugga chugga. When she did her clean sweep of the island. I think it's worth going down all of these corridors just for the items. Yes. Don't come any closer. I'm coming for you. Note left by fisherman. She's coming. Everyone who saw her blossomed. That woman. That woman. We came down here to get away from her, but she's coming. Her face. Can't see face. So scary. 40. Oy. Let's do... Mm. No. I'm gonna wait for max power. I am power hungry. They all ran into dead ends. Oh. Come closer. Wanna have her out of the wall a little bit more. The details on the mask, so cool. There somewhere. Oh. <laughs> okay. No doll or anything. That would be sneaky. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes oh, oh my god very important 
She needs a doll. Not that... Not that the final fight is really hard, I think. I think I remember it, like, the same with Misaki. What was it, two shots? <laughs> They're not crazy hard in this one. Whoa, look at that carving! The moon! I've never seen that. That's so cool. Oh, this carving's over the whole wall. That's awesome. Makes me wonder if those details were always in place and we just couldn't see it because the Wii was- Oh! Where? Where could it be? <gasps> I had no idea. All these little poles. And you can see it's like stuff written on them. It's either... I think if it was modern Japan... Wait, did I hear a thing? Okay. Um, it will be like written names of don donors who donated. Wait, where was that item then? Down here. Donated money to the temple. Um, but it could also be like prayers <laughs> on it. Twenty, nice. That is what I needed, wasn't it? Oh, sixty. Oh, ten more. Um, I heard. I heard a blue thingy. Where is it? Was it down here? I'm scared. It was here. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh god! Um, keep going. She's gonna appear in front of me, isn't she? She's gone. She's in front! She's in front! have to avoid her long enough until she goes away. Oh! Ooh! Hmm. She said, Watashio, but then nothing. Maybe stop me? She was about to say stop me. It's usually what they mean with Watashio. Tomate kudasai. Oh, what's that? hole there on the left. I want my gems. Thank you. 20! Oh, it was worth coming back for that. Oh, I didn't realize it was punished chunk on the floor. Yes! Max power. Awesome. She is good. Oh, it's like a showing the floor beneath. Huh. I think there's like a doll in one of these holes. Okay, hopefully she'll be gone for a little bit. So we got the item ahead of us. Oh, this is a dead end. Oh, a book. Dogetsu Primeval Passage. On the Isle of Dogetsu, there exists a cavern called the Primeval Passage. This cavern hath been a training place for maidens since Byakuya, 
being the ancestor of the vessels who holds concords with the moon, has the vision in this cavern whilst, whilst at her training. Entering the cavern where no light reaches, the maiden retained her own essence whilst cleansing her mind of all things of the world, becoming empty and dying and returning to this world in rebirth, being thus the training of the Dogat's primeval passage. Many of the maiden women will lose their mind, as only few can withstand the training and obtain spiritual concourse. Ye shall not let those wo women unfit to be a maiden undertake training in the primeval passage. away from the wall a bit more. <laughs> one shot, one kill. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, I can even... The lens isn't even upgraded yet. Oh, I can't. Oh, I upgraded it already. Uh, uh, let's do slow. Yeah, slow is good. Take more powerful shots? No, that's fine. I won't use anything else. That and slow are the big ones. Okay. Which way do we go? Oh, is this a dead end? Yeah. There we go. Note left by Islander. It's all because of that damned mask. That mask isn't a thing of this world. It belongs to another place. What kind of disaster has that mask brought to this island? It brought about the day of tranquility. The day of tranquility. Everyone lives yet becomes as the dead. You absolutely must not look upon that face. Huh. Oh, you're so close. That's with seven film. That's pretty crazy. Anything here? No? Then I will go here. Anonakuru. She is coming. Oh, oops. Don't trip on yourself. Oh, that didn't count. Woman in the passage. Oh! There are two of you for a second there. Nice. Damn, and it just. the follow up shots recharge the lens again. So every attack I can start with a full blast. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Mm, I might die. Okay, so far so good. And... <gasps> she gone? I thought she was gonna appear in front of me again. Okay, I'm gonna go back because there is a little. Oh! A loop? I think it might be through the wall. Yeah, it might be. Let me check. Whoa! Big lady. 
It might be here that the item was. Yeah, looks about right. Her shadow scared me. <laughs> Thought I was about to get grabbed. Hmm? What? <gasps> she got the zero lens? Wait, but don't you think this one is... Oh, we'll have to compare it. that. We'll do a full blast shot. See how much damage that does. And then do a zero shot for comparison. For science. Getting close to chugga chugga. I wonder how many of you are like, why is she saying chugga chugga? What the hell does that mean? Ask is positioned in the center of the large shrine. There you are. Old book. Dolgat's Kagura Chronicle. Accompanied by a maiden known as a guardian, I shall observe one of the most important Kagura festivals in the country and test out the camera obscura. This Dogetsu Kagura starts as a gentle dance and becomes more and more intense. It is said that at the climax, many people collapse from the intoxicating excitement. Some also suffer from a condition known as moonlust at the time of the Kagura. The moonlust may be caused by the soul not returning completely after becoming one with the spirits during the trance state of the Kagura. It may also be caused when the soul returns, but changed. Everything changed! As the guardian are of a bloodline that is easily possessed by spirits, they undergo training before the Kagura. I have heard the legends of the guardians, and they are most fascinating. They say that to the dead, the souls of the living appear like bundles of noise called moon sounds, which are different for everyone. The moon sound becomes higher when one is angry, trembles when one is confused, and becomes lower when one is sad, but its music never changes. However, if a person suffers from moonlust, their moon sound becomes distorted and broken. As superstitions go, the idea that people are made of music is an attractive one. There is more to the legends of the guardians. The maidens themselves have the role of playing various melodies in order to preserve the proper moon sounds. These melodies cannot cure moonlust, but they are said to be able to treat various conditions. The idea of curing disease through prayer is not unusual, but even in my extensive research of the supernatural, I have yet to hear of direct healing through music. The guardian maidens say that they can hear my moon sound and that it's a pleasant one. Despite saying some strange things, all of the priestesses have a surprisingly modern mindset and are kind, intelligent, and beautiful. I do so wish they could accompany my, me to my next destination. Is... do you think... This is just a really old document because they're talking about priestesses as well and they they don't exist in like the more recent documents. They don't mention any priestesses. So this could be like a thing way in the past back when this island just still had priestesses training in the primeval passage. The sound soul stuff. So maybe if this is such an old document, maybe what they called the Moonlight Syndrome is actually moonlust. What they used to call moonlust. Maybe it's the same thing. Just speculating here. I would love to hear your thoughts. This is a tricky one. It's like on the side or something. What's the matter, babe? Is it not here? Wait, I don't want to go through yet if there's an item here. There you are. I knew it was like a doorbell. There you go. Okay, now I can go through. Here we go. 
This, so, okay, so this is the Chaga Chaga area. And I refer to it as Chaga Chaga because this is the area in the game where the Wii had such difficulty loading this huge area that the Wii would like continually load and it would like make this audible Chaga 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 <laughs> as it was loading this area. I don't know why it did that, but it was just for this area. <laughs> so this is the Chaga Chaga. You can take a picture here. But yeah, you can also hear music. It's not just the wee chugga chugga. The Dogets Kagura will be held tonight in the Temple of the Lunar Eclipse. Please come to the stage by 10 p.m. Note that during the performance, the door to the temple will be sealed and no one will be allowed in or out. The eclipse is expected to begin around midnight, after which time leaving your seat will be strictly prohibited. Also, those who wish to watch the Kagura must receive a mask at Shugen Temple and wear it at all times during the performance. Yeah, there you are. I knew you guys would be here. So those are the organs for the top side Kagura. Chaga 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 chaga. Hello. Noise coming from behind the door. I've heard it before. Yes. Look at that stage. Chugga, 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 chugga. It's running so smoothly. <laughs> so Xbox Series X is like, dude, no sweat. <laughs> this is a stage where the Kakura dance was held. This is uh this is one of the hardest battles coming up. I have sixteen. I have more of these though. Okay. I wonder if there's a doll here somewhere. I wish check around the camera but I feel like the area is too big to really hear the music oh and that's why you hear a certain sound when you're close to the doll because everyone has their own moon sound ew because they say it's a there's a soul in the doll right Would be fun if they put one just in the audience on the stand here. Maybe there's one like way up top. Could there be one like sitting on one of these? So this is the nurse that was asked to perform it. And then she had a heart attack. girls all die too? I don't remember. I guess they must have, otherwise we wouldn't have seen them. I was wondering if they left in that awful sound. On. You know that troll she does? Oh. Really reminds me of a. Oh. God, yeah, this is hard. Oh! 
free handing. I'm not locked on. 14. Ah! Oh, I should heal. Oh, I only have two. Just one of those. Okay. <sighs> okay. I think I got her. Okay. Big lady's dead. Second one. Okay. They're all doing a fake out. Oh god. Okay, cool. Did she just say skip it? Help me. Okay. Nice. She's done. One left. I knew you were going to be down there. Annoying kids. That was a lot of blasting. We're not moving. Okay. And then she got taken away. What does she want? You know, that sound in the background sounds kind of like Fiddle Frame 1. Hmm. Never picked that up before. She already had the mask on at that point. Okay, that was intense. But I came prepared. Just hoping we're not missing any dolls. There's probably a doll out here somewhere. be hard to find. Um, ah, I see. Now we're on the other side. Something on the other side? Oh, oh there it is. <gasps> Zero film, yes! The strongest type. Now, one of these lamps... Oh, actually, maybe it's a different chapter. But one of these lamps is fun. Is it this one? Or is it an item? It's an item. Ooh, 30! Don't mind if I do. Mm. Yeah, let's do this one. 
the charge stuff, I'm not... I don't have a huge rush on. Is the lamp here? Soya facing away. It's daddy. Was that father? F father? Father just now? Almost said it Irish. Oh, Beeb, you scared me. Jesus. Oh. Uh huh. I think it is this lamp. So I saw someone say take a picture of it, but I don't think anything would happen. No. I think we have to touch it. <laughs> she in the lamp! So she has to come down and go up. Oh my god. And then, oh god, that's hard. Maybe she should slow on her. Um, should get some herbal medicine later. Take a regular picture, honestly. Can barely see anything. Oh, oh, God. We got to compare the scores. Okay, so fully charged. Zero shot. It's twelve fifty. Okay. Whoa, that sound. There's definitely a doll here somewhere. Uh, this one's always so tricky. I'm never sure how to take a picture of this. Or is it like down? I always forget. Um, anyway. of the Dogatsa antechamber being the place where the maiden who taketh part in the rite of descent becometh one with the mask here they enter into the ceremonial stage the vessel and organs must take their places wear the masks hear the moon sounds and become one with the masks the moon sounds must be played on the altar only those who become as one with the mask may enter from the altar to the temple of Tsukiyomi in a matter, manner dignified as befits it a doll here somewhere. Phoebe, what are you doing? Why are you stand- he's deliberately standing on the cable. <sighs> I love you a lot, but sometimes I just gotta record. Okay, now, how... 
Oh, I only now actually realize this is a pillow, isn't it? To sit on. Okay, here it disappears, so. Let me see. <gasps> there it is. see. So they would sit there in preparation. Some kind of panel on the altar. Musty air drifts from behind it. Okay, we have everything here. For now, we go back. Also, let's go get that doll that I missed apparently. Although, I'm sure I missed so many, but... How am I doing on dolls? 46 of, what, 79, I think it is? So I missed 33 so far. Yeah. I think I said I would get about 40. <laughs> um. Okay, so it says, before you head up the steps, look under them. So here. Ah, oh. totally missed that one. This place is really big. I can see why the Wii had to go chugga chugga, because it's like, oh my god, okay, now I have to go all the way down this hall, and then all the way down here, and all the way to the left, all the way in the back. It's a lot to load. Stinky lantern with the ghost. Oh, this hallway is dirty. I love the moonlight coming through, though. Oh. What? Where? Aha! Uh -huh. I feel like we could get one in the beams up above. Film beep. I think there was a doll. Yeah. I remember you. Baby's messing about. Baby. Hey. Old book. Secrets of the Shugen Temple. The mask of the vessel. Oh, I thought it was like a half mask up there, but it's a shadow. The mask of the vessel must have inside it a face removed from a deceased person who buddheth not. A face removed from a deceased person. The face being placed in the Shugen Temple must bathe in the light of the moon for one night. In the chamber of the mask artisan, the face is peeled off the body of the deceased and then so tanned. All the while, the moon's light must shine upon it. Well... That's a very confusing file. Hmm. Locked. Father was always in there. Otto-san? Otto-san? Bibi-san? the same outfit as the other guys would wear that attack us. Same kimono. Oh, so close! Um, so 
So do I try to leave? Sure. We have more to explore. I think we need to be back there, but... Seneba? Seneba. Seneba, I think. Woohoo! Can't stop me! Ooh, 30! Yes, yes, yes. I like... 40. Ooh. Let's go 10 more and then finish that one off. Hello? This looks really dark. It was all connected. Ah, there we go. I thought it would end at a different place than it did. So that is nine clear. So we have 10, 11, and 12 left. Um, then for this episode, I will leave it here. I'll see how it goes next time. I think if I make the next episode also two hours, then we should have finished the game by then. So this one went longer than I expected, about half an hour over, but it should be okay. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how I feel next episode. But thank you so much for watching this one. Um, grand conclusion for Kirishima coming up next, I think, after this. So very excited for that. And then after that, it should be like the conclusion of the game. And everything should hopefully make sense for you guys. I'm doing my best to explain it as I understand it, but I could be misinterpreting some of it as well. It is a very complicated story. But thank you so much for watching this one. I'll see you guys soon with possibly the last one. <laughs>